Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. We are exploring one of the most groundbreaking comparisons in modern military technology, the battle between Israel's Iron Beam and Russia's S-500 systems. These two air defense systems represent not only advanced engineering, but two completely different visions for the future of missile interception. One uses the power of lasers traveling at the speed of light, while the other relies on high-speed missiles capable of hitting targets in outer space. This isn't just a comparison of weapons, it's a look into how future wars may be fought, and one Israel's Iron Beam is a directed energy system that uses high-powered lasers to destroy incoming threats. Instead of launching physical interceptors, it uses concentrated beams of light to burn through rockets, drones, and artillery shells in a matter of seconds. This is revolutionary because it eliminates the need for expensive interceptor missiles. Every shot fired by the iron beam costs just a few dollars worth of electricity, while traditional interceptors cost tens of thousands or even millions of dollars. This makes the iron beam a cost-effective solution in a world where drone swarms and mass rocket attacks are becoming increasingly common the Russian S-5. Hundred, on the other hand, is a long-range surface-to-air missile system built to intercept ballistic missiles, hypersonic weapons, and even low-Earth orbit satellites. It represents the peak of interceptor missile technology. The S-5 Hundred uses advanced radar that can track multiple targets across vast distances, and its missiles can reach speeds more than 15 times faster than sound. Where the iron beam is designed to stop smaller low-altitude threats, the S-5 Hundred is engineered for strategic defense against enemy missiles launched from thousands of kilometers away. The Iron Beam's greatest strength is speed. Lasers travel at the speed of light, so the time between detection and destruction is almost instantaneous. There is no launch delay and no explosive warhead. The laser simply locks onto the threat and applies enough thermal energy to destroy it. This speed is critical in defending against short-range projectiles that give defenders only a few seconds to react. By contrast, the S-5 hundred relies on advanced missile interceptors which must be physically launched into the air. These interceptors take several seconds to reach their targets, but they can travel extremely long ranges and even leave the atmosphere to engage threats from space. Cost is a major factor in modern warfare. Traditional interceptors are extremely expensive, and enemies have begun using cheap drones and rockets in large numbers to overwhelm air defenses. In such scenarios, countries risk spending millions of dollars to intercept weapons that cost a fraction of that. The Iron Beam solves this issue by using laser energy. As long as it has an energy source, it can fire almost indefinitely. This makes it ideal for continuous defense. The S-500, in contrast, is extremely expensive to operate and maintain. Its missiles are high-value assets used for strategic targets, not for daily interception of low-cost threats. The Iron Beam is designed primarily for short-range defense with an operational range of around 10 kilometers. This means it cannot engage long-range ballistic missiles or hypersonic weapons. It is most effective when used alongside other systems like the Iron Dome and David's Sling. The Iron Beam acts as the first line of defense taking out small and cheap threats so that expensive missiles are reserved only for critical high-level attacks. The S-5 100 is designed to engage threats at ranges up to 600 kilometers and altitudes of 200 kilometers. It is the final layer of defense in Russia's MALT, a tiered air defense network and is capable of protecting entire regions. One of the challenges faced by the Iron Beam is environmental conditions. Lasers can be limited by weather elements such as fog, smoke, rain or dust, which can scatter or weaken the beam. This means the system performs best in clear atmospheric conditions. Israel has reportedly developed technologies to minimize these challenges, but they still present operational limitations. The S-5-100 is not affected by weather because it uses physical missiles that can operate in all conditions. However, missile systems take time to reload and can be overwhelmed if multiple incoming threats arrive simultaneously, the radar technology used in both systems is also a key factor. The Iron Beam is integrated into Israel's existing air defense network, which includes powerful radar capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. The system uses AI-driven tracking to automatically identify and engage threats with minimal human input. The S-5 
Hundred's radar system is considered one of the most powerful in the world capable of detecting targets at extremely long distances, including stealth aircraft and hypersonic missiles. It can track and engage up to 10 ballistic missiles, simultaneously making it one of the most advanced missile defense systems ever developed. One of the biggest differences between the two systems is their overall purpose. The Iron Beam is tactical. It is designed to protect cities' front lines and military bases from immediate short-range threats. It serves as a shield for daily defense needs. The S-5 hundred is strategic. It is built to protect the entire nation from high-level threats and to act as a deterrent against other nuclear-armed states. While the Iron Beam is focused on saving costs and responding quickly, the S-5 hundred is focused on long-term security and global military positioning. In terms of deployment, the Iron Beam is expected to be fully operational soon and will be integrated into Israel's multi-layered defense system. Once deployed, it will likely be positioned around civilian areas and critical infrastructure to provide rapid interception capabilities. The S-5 hundred has reportedly already entered limited service in Russia and is expected to be deployed in key strategic areas such as Moscow and major military installations. Its deployment is part of Russia's effort to counter perceived threats from NATO and the United States. Another important aspect to consider is the future potential of these systems. The Iron Beam represents the beginning of an era where laser weapons could replace missiles for many defensive purposes. As technology advances, laser power will increase, range will expand, and the system could eventually be mounted on aircraft or ships. This would allow interception of threats far beyond the current range. The S-5 hundred represents the future of missile-based defense and could eventually evolve into the foundation for space-based defense systems capable of launching interceptors from orbit. When looking at mobility, the Iron Beam is expected to be highly mobile, allowing it to be relocated quickly to defend different areas. This gives Israel flexibility in responding to emerging threats. The S-5 Hundred is mobile, but its large size and infrastructure requirements mean it is not as easily relocated. However, once deployed, it can cover massive territories and provide a long-range shield that few systems can match. The Iron Beam is highly automated, relying on AI and advanced sensors to detect and destroy incoming threats in seconds without human intervention. This reduces response time and ensures consistent performance. The S-5 Hundred also uses automation, but requires greater coordination due to the complexity of launching missiles and tracking high-altitude targets. Despite this, it provides a greater margin of safety against threats that are too fast or too distant for laser systems to engage. In terms of geopolitical impact, the Iron Beam could change the dynamics of asymmetric warfare. Non-state actors and hostile forces rely heavily on low-cost rockets to terrorize civilian areas. The Iron Beam undermines this strategy by providing a nearly cost-free defense mechanism. The S-5 hundred also changes the balance of power by providing Russia with a defensive umbrella that could potentially neutralize enemy nuclear weapons. This gives Russia a stronger position in global negotiations and military strategy. The Iron Beam's ability to fire continuously gives it a major advantage in scenarios involving mass rocket fire. Since each shot costs very little, the system can operate without worrying about ammunition depletion. The S-5 hundred, by contrast, must conserve its missiles for the most critical threats. Using it to intercept drones or rockets would be economically impractical. This again shows the different roles of each system, one designed for constant engagement and the other for strategic defense. Critics argue that laser technology is still in its early stages and may not replace traditional missile systems anytime soon. However, the rapid development and successful tests of the Iron Beam suggest that lasers are not just a concept, but a practical solution ready for deployment. Critics of the S-5 hundred argue that its full capabilities are not yet verified by independent sources and that its true performance remains uncertain. However, even conservative estimates indicate that it surpasses most existing missile defense systems. Both systems are symbols of military innovation. The Iron Beam demonstrates Israel's ability to develop cutting-edge solutions tailored to modern battlefield challenges. The S-5 hundred represents Russia's focus on strategic dominance and control of the air and space domains.
These systems are not direct competitors but complementary representations of different defensive philosophies, so which system is superior depends on the scenario. For short-range rapid interception of rockets, artillery, and drones, the iron beam offers unmatched speed and cost efficiency. For long-range interception of ballistic missiles, hypersonic weapons, and satellites, the S-500 is currently unmatched. The iron beam provides a shield over the battlefield, while the S-500 protects entire nations. The future of warfare will likely see a combination of these technologies working together. Lasers will dominate short-range defense, while missile systems will handle strategic threats. As artificial intelligence continues to integrate into these systems, the response time will become even faster and the accuracy even higher. This will lead to defense networks capable of detecting and neutralizing threats before they even become visible to human operators. In conclusion, the Iron Beam and S-500 represent the next level of missile interception, but they do so in completely different ways. One uses the power of light to burn through threats instantly, while the other uses high-speed missiles to intercept targets across vast distances. Together, they offer a glimpse into the future of air defense, where speed, precision, and cost efficiency will determine the outcome of conflicts. Both systems will continue to evolve, and whichever nation leads in this technology may ultimately shape the balance of power in the years to come. If you enjoyed this deep dive into modern air defense technology, make sure to stay tuned for more insights into the most advanced military systems in the world.